Medical students are no different than the rest of us when it comes to having unconscious preferences for a person's race and social class. Their preferences were for uh, white patients, white uh, individuals, and that's not surprising as when you look at the population of the United States, it is two-thirds white. Dr. Julianne Freischlag from Johns Hopkins School of Medicine and co-authors surveyed more than 200 new medical students about their unconscious preferences for race and social class and whether that would influence how they would treat patients. Researchers had the students complete an online survey where they were given eight different patient scenarios. Either the patient's race was randomly changed from black to white or the patient's social status was changed from a high socioeconomic status job to a low socioeconomic status job. The students answered several clinical questions about the patients, including how much pain they were experiencing. The students had preferences, but it did not influence how they treated the patients in the vignettes or stories. And that's so different from those out in practice. The study appears in a theme issue on medical education in this week's JAMA, Journal of the American Medical Association. We have an opportunity early in their medical education to actually let them know about their preferences so that they can better treat patients in the future and also to let them know that they don't have any preferences in treating patients and therefore they should uh, work on making sure that uh, stays that way. Just ask fourth year student Leah Losanzi who helped administer the survey. It is somewhat surprising that even though you have some level of unconscious bias or preference um, that it doesn't actually influence the decision-making process at this point in your medical ed experience or education. Leah is planning a career in general surgery and says knowing about these preferences will certainly influence her role as a future physician. And give me the opportunity to have a double check and say, am I really thinking about all the different possibilities correctly? And being comfortable enough to say that to myself in my own practice can only make me a better physician in the future. Catherine Dolph, The JAMA Report.